A civic activist and journalist known for investigating corruption among senior officials was beaten outside Ukraine's capital on Christmas. The beating coming amid political turmoil in Ukraine. This has drawn a protest from the U.S. Let's bring in CNN foreign affairs correspondent Jill Doherty to talk about this. This is very disturbing, Jill. Well, it is. And when you see that video, really, Brianna, it's uh, two videos, in fact. It was really a vicious attack. There's the first video, which is it shows her. She's driving to her home outside of Kiev. She's chased down, and a car begins to ram her. It goes on for quite a long time. Then finally, they uh, pretty much crash into her. She jumps out of the car, and then these men... Uh, armed, go after her with some type of, uh, you know, sticks or something and beat her severely. And then the aftermath, you just saw the pictures. She is bloodied and in really bad shape taken to the hospital. So why did this happen? Well, uh, it's not clear totally, but just hours before she was attacked, she posted a blog post, and in that she talked about a kind of um, country manner that was being built for the interior minister. But let's listen to what she says about this attack. I'm a person with a long list of enemies. Many people are trying to get me. It was not a provocation against somebody else. I'm sure about it. I mean, I'm a revolution activist, a very active one, and I'm very well known as a journalist. I've undertaken many journalistic investigations, which are still irritating all of them. So now the Ukrainian president's office has condemned this. Uh, he has ordered an investigation, and they apparently have identified two people. And uh, uh, I think they have been arrested. That was the latest we saw. And also a third has been identified. But obviously, there are a lot of questions about this. And it comes in the context of all those demonstrations that were taking place in Kiev downtown after the president decided not to go with that European Union deal. Uh, so it's in the context of that. And the truth, Jill, is that she is lucky, actually, even to be alive. But when you talk about the fact that there are some suspects, what are the chances that someone is actually punished for this? That's a very good question, because often these investigations take place, but nobody really is, in, is arrested. Or if they are, they may be very low on the totem pole in terms of who actually ordered it to take place. So it's beginning, unfortunately, you know, I covered Ukraine, covered Russia, and this is not that uncommon. The video, of course, having it like that is, but this happens to journalists not every day, but not that infrequently either.